Hello guys, in this plasticity video, I'll show you how to make this nut and bolt right here. But real quick guys, I've got two new courses on Udemy. Ultimate Sci-Fi Soldier and Plasticity Modeling Guide. So guys, Plasticity 1.0 is now out. The program is pretty much at a good state. I like using this program guys, it's really fantastic. It's hands down the best 3D modeling program I've ever used. It's fantastic. And this guide will show you how to create this awesome uh, industrial mech. As for the Sci-Fi Soldier, I've got some really good ZBrush hard service scuba techniques and then a lot of 3ds Max clean topology. So you get the best of both worlds, guys. Really cool hard surface ZBrush techniques and then all the retopology process in the Max. All the Max videos are unsped up and the videos in ZBrush are a little bit sped up. So essentially, guys, the purpose of this one is not to overwhelm you with dozens of hours of content, but just to have really streamlined, just like the best of the best techniques for retopology and sculpting so guys check out those courses links are in the description let's continue all right guys so first let's make the head right here so i'll go ahead and start with a regular polygon make sure to start an origin that just makes things easier and kind of snap along the uh, y-axis or the x-axis just kind of align things here i'm gonna hold down shift and then move the mouse wheel to get six all right left click and there we go now i'll select this I'll make sure to switch to base level. Let me go ahead and move pure ref. This is pure ref right here. I'll move that up there. All right, so I will now press D to extrude this up. I'll press two again and I will delete the bottom right there. All right, so how do we get this right here? Well, the best technique I found is to select this sphere right here and create that. I'll press B to make that a new body. All right, I'm going to select that. I'm going to press S for scale and then Z for Z scale. And then GZ to move that. And we're pretty much going to create something like uh, like this. And you can further customize this by doing further uh, scales. To get something uh, like this. All right, we'll select this. We'll uh, hold shift to select this as well. We'll press Q. We're going to press uh, shift Q for slice. And this allows you to either recombine it all together or just kind of delete the parts you don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, these parts. And, uh, delete that part to make it flat. All right. And I think I'll select this and I'll scale it further on the Z-axis if you want to. So now you can decide kind of how you want this to look. So you can further accentuate that by doing this, for example, and you need to get that. And then all you need to do is just kind of uh, select the bottom and kind of uh, need to move that up. All right, and then you've got that right there. All right, and uh, if this is too much territory for you, you can go ahead and just uh, press Control Z a few times. And essentially, all you need to do is kind of modify the sphere. So, like this, for example. And then when we do that, As you can see now, we get a much more accurate result right there. So just a few small edits. All right, and you can kind of modify this. All right, that is the head. And if you want, you can move this higher, G, Z. All right, next we're gonna create a bit of a cylinder right there. In fact, I can just select uh, you know, this, Shift, D, Z, all right. like that and just extrude that out. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and scale. All right, and we can select this further and move that. And move that, all right, so. All right, and in fact, we can even move this lower. All right, so how do we get this kind of uh, thread? Well, we can go ahead and click on the spiral. Start with the center here. And kind of uh, end right there. As you can see, we can have snap on the surface like that. All right, we can uh, increase number of turns. Now, this is a part where you want to do some calculations. I'm just going to kind of eyeballing it. I want to get something like that, guys. 
but you can go for a more or less depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Let's go with that. All right, so now what we need to do is to select this, and isolate it, and we'll go to one of these views here, and we need to create a triangle to run through this. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Snap to Grid, Shift A, and we're going to create kind of a triangle piece right here. All right, we can then maybe select this and kind of move it a little bit. All right, and then kind of GG. Yeah. All right. We're going to move that to the start. All right, now we'll select this. We'll press F to go into Find and uh, SW for Sweep. We'll go ahead and, since this is already selected, we'll go ahead and select this and then we'll just right click. All right, so before we can Boolean, we first need to close this up. So I'll select this and I'll click on Hatch Holes. All right, we should now be able to do a Boolean operation. So we'll select the original cylinder, we'll go ahead and select this second hue. You need to give it a second or two to initialize and right click. And I can delete the edges as well. And now we have this nice threading happening here, guys. So let's see, it's not quite at a point right here. So let's see. I'll select that and just kind of uh, move that up a little bit. There we go. All right. But the thing is, is that probably need to cut off that part right there. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to control Z a little bit right before the boolean operation. And I'm going to create a, a little duplicate of this. So Shift D and then Z right there. Okay, so let's, let's redo that. All right, once again, we'll select that and we'll just uh, D to move that up a little bit. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just create two little lines to cut off some pieces. Right. And uh, down here as well. Right, we'll select this, we'll press C, add that, and hold Shift to add this as well. We can now delete this. And we can go ahead and select this move that back up and we'll, uh, select this and move that up as well now we're going to press d again and we'll hold control and snap that right there all right guys in order to create the nut we can just select this shift d z all right We'll select this and press D to move it up. We'll now select this, Alt X, select that surface, press Q for union and right click. And now we have a nut here as well. And now what you can do to have the same kind of pattern on the inside here is that we can uh, select this and hold shift to add that Q, T for keep tools. And now we have that kind of same pattern happening right there. This is very nice, guys. So that's how you create this nut and bolt. Thank you for watching and take care.